hello and happy Sunday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose show and welcome to today's full moon in Leo meditation and report. I am your host, Kimberly. I help you transform your mind so that you can become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me today. Thank you for loving this enough to share with your friends and family. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Before I jump into today's report and meditation, I have some exciting news for you. Last year in July, we had a guest on the show. We had world-renowned astro-numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn talking about the numbers and talking about palmistry also. You really love that appearance because he made the top five in both his personal year of numerology episode and his episode on palmistry. Well, the good news is this. If you're interested in learning more about astro numerology, now's the time to do so because Lord Strayhorn has his very own podcast now. The name of the show is Numbers and You. You can find it on your favorite podcast platform and you can also find the link in the description here. He will be teaching numerology and he will be featuring guests that will be speaking on other metaphysical topics. So make sure you check it out. You can also find it at lloyd-strayhorn.com forward slash podcast or either just go to lloyd-strayhorn.com. Now to the report. Full Moon in Leo, Expressing Your Creativity. February 5th, that is today, at 2.28 p.m., just a couple hours ago here, the opportunities are living from the heart, enjoying fun and play. The challenges are seeking validation from within and the balance of give and take. Startling and sudden shifts are on the cards with the full moon in Leo on February the 5th. With the strong square aspect of La Luna and the sun to freedom-loving Uranus, we may have an unexpected change of heart, where we may find that the direction we've been moving is no longer the right one for us. And although this may be initially anxiety-provoking, it's important to trust in the winds of change and not resist the curveballs that the universe may be throwing us. When circumstances unfold this quickly, it's usually because there's a stagnant energy that needs to move. And as human beings, we are often reluctant to initiate this change ourselves because let's just face it, change is frightening to most of us. Yet, When we open our arms and embrace this cosmic energy, we may find that we relish the feeling of total freedom and liberation that follows on the heel of this full moon. It's a magic feeling of nowhere to go, nothing to do. Within this uncertainty lies the greatest potential of all. We get to recreate ourselves and our world according to who we are now and who we were in the past. Leo themes include love, romance, children, creativity, individualism, and self-expression. Leo also rules the heart and thus this is why we may experience these shifts from deep within our centers. Ask yourself if you've been able to fully show up as who you are in the world lately. If you've had to dim your light or hide your gifts. If this is the case, now's the time to let the sunshine in and spread light around to all those you love. Releasing relationships, old ways of being, and ancient heart hurts are the way forward now. Our souls are yearning for emancipation, dancing, singing, or channeling your feelings into a creative activity in the way to let go of any powerful, overwhelming, or dramatic feeling. 
The ruler of this full moon, the sun, is in Leo's opposite sign of Aquarius. These two signs are worlds apart, yet have much to learn from each other. The balance to strike here is what you need to do just for yourself and your dreams versus what's good for the collective of your community. It's also a matter of balancing the future with what's happening right now and not swinging wildly from one polarity to the other, which is often the case during a full moon. Look back to around six months ago and notice what seeds you planted at that time, especially seeds around personal expansion and growth. These seeds have grown to full fruition now, for better or worse, making it the time to release what hasn't worked and to keep what has. With Mercury and Pluto closely together at this full moon, it's easy to get lost in obsessing over what we could have, should have done. But that mindset is self-defeating. So when we find ourselves overthinking, find a way to move the body and release energy from the nervous system. Stand in the sunshine and soak up her rays. Allow the light outside to illuminate the light within. And don't be afraid to seek wise counsel when your soul asks for it. That is the full moon in Leo report, courtesy of Astro Matrix. Let's prepare for today's meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to meditate. Please download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, this is your time to meditate. Please find your sacred space, the space that you enjoy being in, the one in which you can relax and focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation.